Hi, my name's Melissa, and this is the Knit and Crochet Spot, Episode 4. This is a podcast about knitting and crocheting and yarn that I may have purchased that week and yarny bits that go along with that. Um, I'm podcasting to you from the suburbs of Atlanta, Georgia, where I live with my husband, and we have four daughters and two grandchildren and three cats. We just acquired a cat, a stray cat, that has fallen in love with my husband. Um, I, the cat won't come near me, but he loves my husband. My husband tried to get him to come in the house, and he's not quite ready for that. So right now he's living on our porch. <laughs> he's awful cute, but he won't come near me, but that's okay. Um, so I think I said everything. I've started this pot, this beginning of this podcast about 15 times and whatever goes, goes. I'm not doing it again. So I'm going to, oh, well, one thing I was meant to podcast last week. Well, that was my desire was to podcast once a week and it didn't happen. So my last podcast was two weeks ago. Um, uh, my schedule changed, um, regarding my grandchildren who I watch for my, my daughters. And, uh, we'll just, I'll just have to see, you know, how it goes. I might, I'm just going to podcast when I can. And when I feel like it, I'm, I'm not going to put any, any pressure on myself. Um, but I'd like to do it regularly. And also the time of day, I usually podcast much earlier than this. I think the time is probably 6.30. Um, it's a Sunday, August 9th, I think, but it's, I know it's about 6.30, so there, the lighting is weird, and it's, the glasses, my glasses, are like, the shadows down there, but there's not anything I can do about it, because when I go like that, I can't see anything, so I have to keep them on. <laughs> oh, well. Um, so I have some finished objects. Let's see, I have three. I have... Um, well, what works in progress, I have two, well, three, possibly four, kind of one that I found. I just found this. I forgot all about it. And then I have some acquisitions, um, that I would consider a lot. Um, I have yarn to show and some notions to show and a bag, a beautiful bag. Okay. So I think I'm going to get started with my finished objects. Um, let's see. And I'm saying I'm a lot. Oh, well. The first finished object is a crochet object. And it is called the Falling Blossoms Shawl. I don't know how well you can see that because it's black and white. I could use the ink or the, the colored ink, but it's expensive. <laughs> So let me go back. Yes, it is the Falling Blossoms Shawl and it's by Anna D. And it's, I found it on Ravelry. It's a paid for pattern. And here it is. This last time you saw this, it was a whip. And I finally finished it and I blocked it and sewed in the ends. And there's a bit of cat hair on there. So here it is. I hope you can see it. So it starts out like this, just this, and then it goes into this little bit of lace, and then it gets to like this flower pattern. Yep. And it has a cool I think it is a cool thing on it. It has, um, at the end, it has like a, I guess like a bigger, an eyelet. I can't remember what they called it. Um, what do they call it? Yeah, an eyelet. So that when you wear it, because these type of shawls, they're so, you know, they're hard to, I always get, get confused how to wear them. 
So you can take this end and put it through that end. So when you wear it, it can go, you can slide it through and it, well, and it'll stay still. It's hard to see on my pink shirt. You pull it a bit tighter. Yeah, mm, something like that. And then you can wear it and it stays, it'll stay put, or that's what it's meant to do. I'm still not good at putting these on. Well, it's not, it's not too bad. You can't really see because I have a pink shirt on underneath it. So I thought that was really clever idea. I think if I make other shawls that are this shape, that I might try to put in an eyelet like that because makes it a lot easier to wear it. So here it is again. I think it's beautiful. And I love the yarn. <clears throat> and the yarn I used, well this is I used one skein. It's Kartoku Angora Natural. It's 10% wool, 10% mohair, and 80% acrylic. It is, um, well, the colorway or the color is K1778. I don't know. <clears throat> it's 100 grams, 580 yards. And I used one skein and I had this much left. I had this much left. <coughs> and I have the crochet needle or crochet hook that I used was a 4.0 millimeter. These are clover hooks. That's what I like is clover hooks, mostly. I like some others, but these are what I use mostly, clover hooks. So that's my first finished object. I think I said everything about it. I think so. Yep, so there's that done. And my second finished object, I have to cut off. I blocked this too and sewed in the ends, but I forgot to cut them off. I'm going to do that real quick. This is a knitting project that I showed on a couple of podcasts as a whip, and I've finally finished it. I think there's another one, but yeah. So it's a cowl. Do I don't. Uh, well, here's the cowl. I don't know how well I'm showing it. If you can see the little detail there. Oh, here it is. And the pattern is Don't Touch Your Face by Nye Color Strict Design or Knee Color Strict Design. Um, oh, I didn't, well, I don't think it really matters, but this yarn and the other is um, like a fingering. It's actually, it's really thin. It's even probably a little bit less than a fingering or a little bit, um, you know, a light fingering, a thin fingering. And this too is also a fingering. This is also made in fingering. Um, and the yarn, now, oh, let me see. I gotta find the yarn label. It should be in here. It should be, but that doesn't mean that it is. Mm. What did I? Well, anyway, it is. Hang on. It's a fingering weight yarn and it is made with it's or the the name it's yarn less or less traveled yarn is the name of the the indie dyer that dyed up this yarn um it's fingering weight um i think it was 75 25 i seriously don't know what i did with the ball band mm. 
But at any rate. Eh. Yeah, so I used the needles I used of my Chow Goo's um, 3.25s. And yeah, that's it. All I can think about. I finished that. And I blocked it. And I don't know if you can really see the pattern. I thought that was kind of cool. And it kind of curls, but after I blocked it, it's not going to curl too badly. So I don't think that's going to bother me. I really, I love to make cowls, lightweight cowls like this. Um, I love them. Because in Georgia, um, it doesn't, I mean, I think we consider it cold, but it doesn't really get, it doesn't really get that cold. <clears throat> so for that, you know, odd chilly night, these are nice to wear because it's not too heavy. So that's my second finished object. Um, I think I said everything about that. Yep. Yarnless Traveled. I think it was called Unicorn Toast. I'm pretty sure is the colorway. Uh, and it's fingering weight. So there's that. And then <coughs> my third and final finished object is, a, is another cowl. But it's not a... Um, it's not fingering light. It's not knit. It's a crochet cowl. And I have not blocked this. I literally just finished this this morning. So I haven't blocked it or anything. It's, um, very fall colors. It'll look so much better once I blocked it. I don't know. I guess this is probably the right side. I saw me talking outside. So here it is. It's just a shell stitch. It's a free pattern that I got off of Knit Picks. Um, simple shells cow cowl. Yep, and I got it off the Knit Picks website, or maybe the maybe we crochet one or the other. They're the same. The same thing we crochet is um, like the knit crochet version of knit picks. Yeah, I love oh, I love these colors so much. There's everybody's home right now, so sorry if you hear radios and God knows what. Okay, so getting on to the yarn, the yarn I used is Yarn B Katarina. Tangatopia. Um, I'm wondering if that is the, yeah, the color way is Tangatopia. It is the number three, which, yeah, yeah, I guess it is. This is what I have left. Um, it's a number three. It's 90% acrylic, 10% nylon. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is 100 grams, 295 yards. And I used a boy 5 millimeter. Now, actually, this 5 millimeter boy hook, I love. I love this. I'm not a Susan Bates fan. I have Susan Bates. Um, but I actually, if I'm going to use a 5 millimeter... Um, I, I reach for this. I like this hook a lot. Yep. So that's all my finished objects. I'll show that. I really love the colors on this. Like I said, I like cows. This is a little bit thicker than the other one, but I just think it's, I just think it's beautiful. Very fall. Actually, when I first started working on it, I thought, oh, it's going to look too much like a pumpkin patch, which really wouldn't bother me but I don't think it does now I like these colors I like green and orange together a lot but this is this isn't this is kind of a bluey some of it's green like a green and yellow dull yellow and then it goes to a blue and a 
don't know if it's a darker blue or or a black or dark gray. I like it. So there's that. That's all my those are all my finished objects. <clears throat> and now and I didn't show you any of the bags, but I've showed them already. This one is in my Knit for Brains bag. And this, well, no, this is, this is a works in progress. It's in this bag. And then I had, oh yeah, never mind. Don't listen to me. I'm getting all my things confused. Okay, so works in progress. So my first work in progress, and it's actually, I guess you could say it's a half finished object um, with the same yarn that I used for the this crochet cowl. I used the leftovers and I'm making socks for my grandbaby. And I'm using the, this is a free pattern. And it's the Rose City Rollers Littles Edition, and it's by Maria Catherine Briner. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. And here is the first one done. It's so cute. And this is the same yarn. The, um, I can never remember the name. Less Traveled Yarn. I have some over there. Um, less traveled yarn, um, unicorn toast fingering, probably 75, 25. Isn't it cute? And I did the size, um, well, they give you on here, they give you, um, kind of sizes for like newborn, one to three months, six to nine month, nine to 12 month, and 12 to 24 month. They give you the sizes for that and so far as what the foot circumference is. But they have, that goes up to like, that goes up to newborn to medium, those sizes. And then they have a large and an extra large that they don't give you the measurements for. Um, but my granddaughter, she's two and a bit. She was two in May. So I did the large six inch foot circumference. And um, I've tried it on her. It's a tiny bit big, but she's, you know, she's not going to wear these until the fall. So, yep. So I cast on 48 stitches. This is the, like with the rope, with the adult size Rose City Rollers, it's a roll down cuff. And I did a heel flap and gusset, which I hadn't done. I hadn't done one of those in a very long time. And, um, <laughs> I'm not planning on doing them anytime soon. I don't, well, I don't like to use it because it doesn't really fit my foot good but that was what the pattern called for and I thought I'm just gonna go with the pattern I think the next um socks I make her I'm just gonna use um well I prefer the afterthought heel I'm just gonna use that but there's that one it's so cute I think it's cute and then I've nearly got it done but here's the second one I'm just um Here's the second one. I'm just, um, I've got a couple more rounds of decreases and then I'll just do the foot for, I think I did 19, yeah, I did do, I did 19 rows. I did, on this part I did 20 rows and then um, I did 19 rows for the foot. And I'm using Magic Loop, that's how I do my socks. And these are my Addy Turbos, Turbo Rockets, um, three point, no, <laughs> 2.25. I got it. Yep, that's what I knit all my socks on, 2.25. Is this them? Yeah. So I'm very close to being done with these. Very close. And have, I've got enough. 
you. So that's my second finished. No, did I? Oh God, my brain. I think that's my first whip. <coughs> Excuse me. My second whip, and this is in my, um, I can never remember. This is my Cedar Hill Farm bag. I guess if you wanted to do two at a time socks, she's even got, but I don't do two at a time socks. I've never tried. And then my second whip is in my tea dottles bag and it's a pair of socks for me. And I'm just using my sock recipe that I found works on my foot well. And this is, I'm still on the first sock and this is as far as I've gotten. I put in, see, this is how I do my afterthought. I put in a bit of waist yarn. I do two by two rib, 25 on the ankle, put on my waist yarn, and then I'll do probably between 60, 65 for the foot, just a regular toe, Kitchener, and then I'll do the afterthought heel. Yeah, and that pretty, pretty yarn. And this is the yarn. I got quite a, quite a bit left. This is it. And it's really pretty. And I have, if you can see the hot pink in there, I have some Knit Picks. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Knit Picks Stroll. Um, that's the same, pretty much close to the same color. And I'm going to use that. It's way over there and I don't want to get it. Um, but I, I'm going to use that for just the heel when I do my afterthought heel. Yep. And this yarn is, please let me have the tag for this. Yay. Now, I don't think um, she dyes yarn anymore. This is No Law Knits. Um, and the colorway is Pele. It is, now it is 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. It's a fingering weight. There's really not <coughs> any other information on it insofar as how many yards or anything, or that it isn't, but it's obviously it is a fingering weight. And, you know, 75, 25 is that sock yarn or what you can make socks with. And it's, I think the base, it says sturdy here. So I'm sure that's the base. And I was, this cowl here that I, that I made, I was going to use this yarn for it. But I just, I don't know. I just wasn't, I didn't really like it. The definition or... I don't know, there's something about it. I just, I don't know, I didn't like it. And so I changed, um, I obviously switched yarns and then I thought, well, it's caked up. I'll use it for socks. Cause I, I just had a hard time decide I had kind of, I usually always have some type of socks going and um, I was having a hard time with socks. I'll show you my next pair of socks. No, I'm not gonna. Um, I'll show you my next pair of socks. I've just kind of had a hard time with socks lately. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is, whoops. This is from, yeah, that's a Knit Picks Felici from, I don't know why that's in here. I don't know. It is. Okay, so another whip. This is just in a Walmart bag. I've relegated this to the Walmart bag because I'm not too happy with it. Well, 
<coughs> I made a boo boo. But I do have it's one completed sock. And this, okay. I did a fish lips kiss heel on this one. I don't know why. Oh, I like that heel. I like it a lot. This is the Blueberry Waffle Socks by Sandy Turner. Sorry if that's, I wrote it, I scribbled it down. Um, it's a free pattern. It's a every, you know, it's a well-known pattern. But what I did wrong, I don't know why. So you've got your sock and on the bottom of the sock is supposed to be just knitting but I went ahead and did this waffle pattern all the way around. And I, I don't know. I hope I'll finish it. I did the same two by two rib. Now I don't, I hope I wrote it down what I did. I think I must be on my phone because obviously because it's a pattern, it's still a shorty sock, which is what I like. Um, the rows, there's, it's, it's a different amount of rows. Same with like, oh, and I did a, what toe did I use? I can't even believe it. I can't remember. See, I put it in this and I forgot about it. I did like a, a rounded toe. I don't like that either. That's too big of a toe for me. I wish I had chosen the shorter version, but I didn't. So, but I, I really do want to finish them. I like them a lot. I do like, I, I like the color. Yeah. So, but I haven't started the second one. In fact, I tossed this one in my bag and started those other socks. So we'll see. We'll see if I finish them. I did these on my chow goos. Yeah. <coughs> Magic loop, 2.25 millimeters. I did these on my chow goos. And my hair, geez. Yeah, and the yarn I used was Lion Brand Manny Petty. <laughs> oh, Manny Petty. It is 219 yards. This is a 50 gram skein. I got two skeins of it. So this is how much I have left after the first one. Um, obviously it's a number one fingering weight, 75, 25, 75 superwash wool, 25 polyamide. And is there a colorway? Knee. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Knee. Knee to no rodillaris. I don't know if that's how you, I don't know if that's how you, I don't know what that is. I don't know if you can see it. At any rate. So maybe I'll get them done. I don't have, oh, I have to force myself. I have to force myself. So there's those. And then this project I found, I forgot all about this project and I did it this year. But I just, I found it. I was like, yeah, I need to finish that. It is finished, but I have to put the fringe on it. Please tell me. Okay, I do. All right. This is a knit crate yarn. Wow. When I was getting knit crate, it is the Audine Wools. <coughs> the colorway is Flirt. It's 80% superwash merino, 20% tens tensile. It's a sport weight, 350 yards, 100 grams. And it got two skeins of it. And I'm pretty sure, yeah. Out of the two skeins, this is what I have left. And I made the Dreamscape unisex scarf. And this is a crochet scarf. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's by Glenda Winkleman, Creative Grandma. When she did the knit, the knit 
crate and that's the scarf. So I've finished the scarf. I forgot all about it. Oh, I know why this is, yep. So here's the scarf. I finished it. It's pretty long, but it calls for, like if you look at this, it's got fringe on it and I think it would look really good with fringe, but I don't, oh, who likes doing fringe? Not me. So I don't know if it'll just be okay like this without the fringe. I know it would look better with the fringe. So it's not really done. It's a beautiful stitch. I love it. Oh, it's so comfy. I don't know, maybe it'll be okay without fringe. So that's why I was try I was kind of considering it just, you know, still a whip because I hadn't done the fringe. And I don't I don't like doing the fringe. I got I have plenty of yarn for the fringe. But maybe it'll look okay without fringe. I don't know. So I wanted to show you that. I found it too, and I did it this year, um, but I just, I just forgot about it. I put it, this is the bag it's in, hold on. Oh, this is the bag. This is a, uh, um, no catchy name bag by Ella. I love Snoopy. Yep, this is her, her bag. And I'm pretty sure I used the crochet hook that it called for. Yeah, four millimeter. I might have, I think I might have used a 4.5. I think I did. It's not in here anymore. <clears throat> this is a pretty, pretty. It reminds me of, um, you know, the ice cream, um, not the chocolate eclair ice cream, but the, the strawberry one, that's what it reminds me of. Oh, maybe it's okay without the fringe. So that's all of my, yep, yeah, that's all of my whips and foes that I've got up to. I've got, I didn't work on quite a few things. Um, that's okay. They're still there and I'll work on them. I want to work on my Andrea Maori shawl. Um, I didn't, um, get a chance to work on that. And I, you know, started, I got some of my older whips done though. So I'm glad about that. Let me make sure I'm not putting, no, that goes in there. That's good. So now we're going to get to acquisitions. I have a little, I have a I think it's a lot. Well, I was going to show my last podcast. I was going to show cotton that I had bought. I bought this cotton um, a couple weeks ago. I didn't show it on my last podcast because this hook. <laughs> Did I take it out of the bag? I shouldn't have. Oh, well. Um. Sorry about that. I got a phone call. Um, and it just cut me off. I hope that's going to be okay. So I was just saying about um, that I didn't show the cotton last podcast because it was going very long. This is going long again. I think I just talked too much. So I was going to show you the cotton. I, evidently, I thought I needed cotton. I don't know. So this is a bunch of cotton I got at Hobby Lobby. I don't know. It's a lot. I don't know why I thought I needed this cotton. I did not need this cotton. Some of it, in fact. I think I already... I. Oh, my word. It was during, you know, when they had their 30% off sales. And my Hobby Lobby has not done their... Um, um, their clearance yarn yet. They haven't... We're always the last. Look at that fiber swept going everywhere. Okay, I have to get a drink. Dye root beer. 
Okay. So this is my cotton from Hobby Lobby. It's, I love this cotton. Um, it is, did I hold that upside down? I think I did. 100% cotton. I don't know if I did or not. Um, 180 yards, 100 grams, and it's a four. And, I got, and the colorway is deep teal. <coughs> Excuse me. I got two of these. I'm pretty sure, I think I have some. I don't know. Um, then I got two of these. It's all the same, you know, specs in that. And this, this colorway is coral. Looks very, very orange, which it, but it's got a little, that looks way orange. It's not orange. It's coral. Pretty. I got two of these and this colorway is warm blush. Two of these is ivory. And This one is antique cream. And I got three of these and these are, yeah, let's see. So these are 180 yards, but for some reason the prints is less. You know how that goes. This is 153 yards. Let's see the speckles. And it's called fruit salad. I do not get fruit salad from this. And I got three of these. And then I love, this is one of my favorite. I love this colorway. I love this. I know I have a lot of this, but I, every time I go to Hobby Lobby, I get more in case they get rid of it. I love it. And this is, um, monkey no yeah monkey red because i think i've got instructions to make that guy there i've never made that i got two of these and then the last thing i got at hobby lobby was their crafter secret two of these i was kind of thinking halloween and this is 100% cotton, 120 yards, 71 grams. It's a four weight and it is lime. That's definitely lime. So yeah, that's cotton. I didn't need cotton at all. I don't know. Just colors, a lot of the colors I didn't have. I thought I had to have, I don't know. I th uh, This is probably one of my favorite cottons <clears throat> there's cotton at walmart mainstays cotton they have a new cotton that is probably just as soft as this um but i haven't gotten any because i don't need it look at this because of the lighting mm, oh well okay so that's all the cotton i got and then yankee dyer yarns was having a sale and I got some yarn from them. Um, it was fifteen dollars a skein for and the, you know for hand dyed yarn. That's real good. So I got three skeins from Yankee Dyer Yarns, and they're on Etsy. So the first one is Golden Pear. It's fingering, a hundred percent superwash merino. 400 yards, 100 grams. And then the second one I got is Jam Mashup. Look at that. 
It's 100 grams, 400 yards, fingering weight. And this one is Superwash Merino 20% nylon. And then the last one I got is Fruity Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles. And it's fingering weight, 100% superwash merino, 400 yards, 100 grams. And I don't know, I thought they went really well together. It's from Yankee Dyer Yarns. I think they have what well, it says here, yankeedyer.com. So they, they must have a website, but <clears throat> I got it off of Etsy. And they had a sale. They always have sales. It's so pretty. I love it. Okay. So, and then... What I got, oh, here's that. <laughs> here's less traveled yarn. Let me put this away before I lose it again. I'm getting text messages, phone calls. Yep. Okay, so I bought a bag. And it is I don't have the card or anything. I'm very ill prepared. Yeah, I'm ill prepared. Hold on. From Nomadic Yarns. Project bag. It's Diagon Alley. If you can see. Oh, it's so cool. It's a good box bottom with a zipper. It's a good size bag. And it's got this is the inside. And it's like a bit sparkly. I don't think you can tell. But yeah, I got this. Now, Nomadic Yarns, she does the most amazing self-striping yarn, but she also makes beautiful bags. And this is a real sturdy bag. Yep, and you know, July 31st, Harry Potter had a birthday. He turned 40. So I had to buy, I don't have it yet. I had to buy, in his honor, I had to buy some Harry Potter colorway yarns. This I had bought a while ago, uh, not a while ago, but probably a month ago. But I do love Harry Potter. <clears throat> I love this bag, now I can use it. Okay, and the last thing I wanted to show you, this is from, I do have their card. I am a little, Yes, I do. Okay. This is some stitch markers I bought. I love. This is a shop on Etsy. And I am obsessed with them. And I lied. I don't know where their card is either. But it is called Firefly Notes Online.com. But they have an Etsy shop. Firefly Notes. And I got some stitch markers. I got a Christmas tree and I got the lops. Is that what it is? It's not a stitch marker, it's more like a progress keeper. But I got that Christmas tree. And then I also got, you know, it's the progress keeper. It's got that clasp on it. I got this. An uh, ice skate. Mm -hmm. Yay. 
you don't want to stay there. An ice skate. I hope you can see it. And then I just got... This is the package it came in. Oh, is it that cute? And just a bunch of... These are progress, these are stitch markers. I don't know how many is in here. Well, how many is in here? Eight. But they're like this. Let me see. They're kitties. Yep. I but I got them. Oh, I want to show you this. One time before I ordered from them, what I got. Because they do amazing tins as well, like where you can keep your stitch markers and stuff. And they do, they have little bags as well. And, um, oh, it's Firefly Notes. It is the, it, oh, it's so cute. But I got this tin from them a while back. And they just, oh, so like that, yeah, it's like under the sea and it's all like vintage looking and it's so cute. And see, I keep all my, I love stitch markers. I keep all my stitch markers in there. See, all those. Yeah, and oh, it's just the cutest shop ever. And it's in Canada, but it ships very, very quickly. I've not had any trouble with any shipping. Okay, so, yep, I did it again. 45 minutes, 40, something like that. Probably about 50 minutes. <laughs> oh, well, um, I just talk a lot. Every time I think, oh, it'll go quicker because you don't have that much. But, well, I guess I do. So... Thank you for watching. I hope you liked everything, the content, and I hope you'd consider subscribing and giving me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I don't care. Um, and maybe leave a comment. Um, I have 10 subscribers now. I feel very lucky for that. I'm so thrilled. Um, thank you so much for people that have subscribed and for the comments I've gotten. I, I really, I really, I, I get so excited. <laughs> I'm like, they go to my husband look somebody commented I love it so if you wouldn't mind if you like it you know, subscribe and um hope to I hope you come back uh, and I hope that I will podcast again next week that's what my goal is we'll see if it happens but I do I am enjoying this so I will be back and you know life will get you know kind of back to normal um well we'll get into a schedule put it that way and Hopefully, for myself, I can have a regular podcasting time or time frame. That's what I'd like. So I hope you all have a great week. Um, it's hotter than the Dickens here. It's so hot and muggy. Oh, my goodness. I hope it cools down. I don't want you to get cold, but I hope it cools down. But I hope wherever you are that you have a great week and everybody... Um, Hug your loved ones, stay blessed, and enjoy life. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next week. Bye.